Backbone Girl, because today is a day where we celebrate me and mommy's love, and I need you to be there, all right? Support me, you know what I mean? All right? I'm looking more, bro. Eva was actually the one who made the first move. She was intrigued by Billy, so she stared him down, trying to capture his soul with his eyes. She told me the first day she saw Billy, she literally asked herself, what if I marry this man in the future? <laughs> unite their lives and vow to nourish each other in mind, spirit, and body. What an amazing gift it is to find someone with whom you wish to spend the rest of your life with. This commitment is about trust, it's about patience, it's about forgiveness, but most importantly, it's about love. That's the love of your life right there. As we stand here today to mark this occasion, let's remember what matters most. It is not the ceremony itself or this beautiful gown you're wearing or your well-guessed dress in all black. We are here today to celebrate your love and companionship that you will continue to share with each other throughout your marriage life. But before we proceed with this union, let's go back to where this journey to the altar first started. Here is a short love story of Billy and Eva. Our couple met in high school in 2008. Eva was actually the one who made the first move. She was intrigued by Billy, so she stared him down, trying to capture his soul with his eyes. She told me the first day she saw Billy, she literally asked herself, what if I marry this man in the future? <laughs> she said she even envisioned the wedding. It may not have been as fabulous as this, but she had those thoughts from day one. As Billy and Eva began to know each other, the bond they shared together grew very naturally. They shared their lives, and everything they do with us through their YouTube channel, Beam Squad. <laughs> Billy and Eva shared many first experiences together. Their first home, their first child, their first million, and now their first and only wedding. They enjoyed being around each other. They constantly were pranking each other getting on each other's nerves, and of course, they had fun roasting their kids. Oh. 
like all couples, Billy and Eva had their ups and downs. They has they has been through some trials and tribulations, but they were able to overcome them. Not many couples could survive what Billy and Eva has been through. The love that they have for each other and the love that they have for their family is why they can stand here so strong and so in love. They loved each other and wanted their relationship to work, so they did all that was necessary. Billy's parents were the ones who actually encouraged our couple to get married. And although they are not physically here with us today, we want to take a moment to show our appreciation because we all know that they're here with us spiritually. Billy, Eva told me how amazing, amazing your parents were to her. She loved that they treated her just like a daughter. Your mom even called Eva her favorite girl. She is grateful to have their blessing on this union today. Billy knew that Eva was the one. He knew he wanted to spend the rest of his life with her. So October 2017, in Costa Rica, on the beautiful Black Sand, of course, he privately proposed to Eva. And of course, she said yes. After spending some time apart, Billy was reassured that he could not live his life without Eva when he was forced to do so. And Eva is indeed a blessed and loved woman because Billy wanted to do something major for his fiance. So upon her return home, September 8th, he planned the perfect welcome home surprise for Eva. As Eva walked in, she was greeted with rose petals and candles on the floor. And as she opened the back door, her family and friends were there to greet her. She was so surprised and happy that it took her a while, actually it took her a very long while, to notice Billy was on his knee. When she finally realized what was happening, in front of family and friends, <laughs> <laughs> Billy reproposed to her with a nice upgrade and again without any doubt Eva said yes. I gave her a couple some homework and asked them to tell me what they loved about each other and this is what they had to say. Eva, Billy loves your personality. He loves how beautiful you are on the inside and on the outside. He loves the way that you are raising your children. He said you are the best human he has ever met. He is so in love with you and can't wait to spend forever with you. Billy, Eva loves how adventurous, funny, and gentle you are. She loves how you make her want to be a better mother and overall person. She loves that you have all the connects. <laughs> she... <laughs> I'm going to put it in there. And spontaneous, you are. <laughs> she, she loves the way that you love her. And being your wife will make her the happiest of a woman. At this moment, there is nothing more romantic and sacred than standing before all of your family and friends to declare love for each other. Billy and Eva... I present you with the opportunity now to express your vows in your own words. At this moment, I publicly invite you to declare your love for each other. Billy, you may go first. Today, as we stand here surrounded by our loved ones and friends, I'm over, overwhelmed with emotions that words alone cannot fully express. Yet in this moment, I want to vow to you with every fiber of my being, the depths of my love, and the promise of a lifetime by your side. When I first laid eyes on you and we both made eye contact in the 400 hallway. <laughs> That's the North Miami days, y'all boys. <laughs> it was like that soul raving moment. It's like our soul from our, la from our, past, from our past life, even though we didn't know it at the time, but our souls did. 
Actually, DJ Khaled did. God did. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what the universe threw at us, our bond was unbreakable. I knew that you are the missing piece of my soul. Your soul has touched the deepest parts of my heart and has transformed my life in ways I never thought possible. The woman of my dreams is right in front of me, and I couldn't ask for God for a better blessing. I hate to take you here, but I have I have to. My parents admired you, embraced you, and loved you so much. You was you was the daughter they didn't ever that they never had, and that means so much to me. I wish they was here to see see you walk down the aisle in that beautiful dress. They are no longer here, but I know they are watching in this very moment. I promise to stand by your side through all life's joys and challenges. I promise to cherish every second with you. I promise to be patient. I promise to grow and be the man that you need me to be. You're one in a million, my best friend. I love you so much. Let me see. Let me see what you got. Top that you. thing. Top, you top that thing right now. Okay, listen. All right, so we weren't supposed to be here, guys. What? We, we are. Talk, hold on. No, listen, we, we, are, babe, we we're not. We're the type of couple we don't believe in like traditional type of um, things. We're not traditional. You know that. Okay, so we go against the grain, but love love isn't against the grain. You know, love is one of the strongest emotions of them all. It's why I still cook for him when I'm mad. It's why I still cook for you when I'm mad. It's why I braid your hair, even though I don't like braiding. It's why I still say I love you, even though we mad. And you be like, babe, you love me? Yeah, I love you, of course. Even though I'm mad at you. That's what love do. It's strong, you know? It's in love with you is what I've been for half of my whole life. Literally, we're on 14 years now. I'm 31. Literally half my whole life I've been in love with you. You know me. And you've watched me become who I am. You actually are the reason or you helped me become who I am. And I appreciate you for that. You're the reason why I'm a mother, why I have my three kids. You helped me be more patient. You helped me think in ways that I don't think to think. And I appreciate you for that. You know, I didn't even have to read this part. You know, your family took me in like I was theirs. And that was the bit, that was one thing for me because sometimes I wish my family were the way yours were and the way that your mom and dad loved me it just made me feel like this is where i'm supposed to be because the love was just so real and, and i will forever never forget them just, just because of the way they loved me the feds couldn't end our love the hate didn't do shit you feel me you <laughs> we made it through the horrible we went through a horrible retrograde you guys we almost didn't made it make it to the altar but we made it past the retrograde, you feel me? That's how I know that I'm meant to be with you because throughout everything, no matter what, our love just still stands strong. And I know you're my best friend. You're the reason why I just, I just be so happy sometimes when I'm mad. And you just know how to lift me up and bring my spirit up. And for that, I vow to, I don't even have to read that either. I vow to continue being the best person that I am for you. Continue to help you be who you were meant to be. Continue to go through the challenges that we face together. Because we get through everything. Ain't nothing that they threw at us that we ain't get through together. We're going to keep doing it no matter what. You know, it's nothing that we can't get through. Your love is strong. My love for you is strong. We're going to keep going forever. And I vow to love you forever and ever and ever. I vow to protect our children and love them and keep doing what I do. We've been together for 14 years. And I feel like we've just been doing it. And this isn't like a promise because I've showed you for the 14 years that we've been together that I can do what I do. And I'm happy that you chose me because I've been chose you and I love you forever and ever and ever. I love you. She did that. Yeah, you lost that one. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I just missed two free throws, yeah, boys. <laughs> no individual is perfect. The art of marriage is loving your partner flaws and all. There will be days that you love each other, but not so much like each other. The art of marriage is loving your partner when they do or say things that annoy you or just get on your nerves. Along with asking our couple what they loved about each other, I also asked them to tell me each other's pet peeves or things that the other one does that annoys them. With that being said, <laughs> Billy, 
Although Eva constantly annoys you when you're almost into a deep sleep and she waits for that very moment to start a big conversation with you, knowing all of that, do you take this woman to be your wife? To live together in holy matrimony? To love her? To honor her? To comfort her? forsaken all others for as long as you both shall live i need the mic so everybody can hear i do did you guys hear that i do thank you <laughs> eva although billy is way too disciplined and he never breaks his own personal rules and he annoys you in bed when he twitches around at night. That's why I think he would. That's why I talked to you. That's why I think he would. Because he be twitching for me. She said it. Damn, y'all just got exposed, y'all boys. <laughs> do you take this man to be your husband? I do. To live I together in holy matrimony? You gotta hear it. To love him, to honor him, to comfort him, forsaken all others for as long as you both shall live? I do. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Turn up tonight. <laughs> Family and friends who are here today, now that you have heard Billy and Eva recite their vows, I have a question for you. Do you, their family and friends, promise from this day forward to encourage them, to give them guidance and support them? If you do, all together say, we do. I, Billy, take Ivani. I, Ivani, take you, Billy. To be my wife. To be my husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. Sickness and health. To love and to cherish. To death do us part. Wow. At this moment, we will have the exchange of rings. These rings will symbolize your never ending love and commitment to each other. You had one job. <laughs> Let them remind you to love, to honor, to cherish each other in all times, in all places, always and forever. Billy, as you slowly place the ring on her finger, please repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love. With this ring. With this ring. I dwell. Slowly place the ring on his finger. Please repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. And to show the world. And to show the world. That you are now taking. That you are now taking. Period. Stamp. Yours. Mine. You feel me? With this ring. With this ring. I dwell. Don't get caught up in the things that will draw you apart. As of today, you are now on the same team. Together, you may fight and defeat enemies. Just do it together. Today marks the beginning of a new stage in your lives together, a moment that we are all here and honored to be a part. Billy and Ivani, having proclaimed your love and commitment to one another in the sight of God and these amazing witnesses, and the Beam Squad family. It is my honor to say, by the virtue of the authority vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And, and, for, and for the moment we have all been waiting for, Billy, you may now kiss your wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing for the first time as husband and wife, 
Mr. and Mrs. Altidor.